Here we go. Taking pi as 3.14, find the volume of each of these cylinders, give your answers correct to the nearest whole number. So look, I'll do part one, okay? You look for the volume formula, pi r squared h. You then say, okay, it's going to be 3.14 multiplied by, uh, what's the radius here, guys? 24 centimeters squared. And then the last one is 30. Then you go, and then you uh, you just put that into your calculator. Instead of using, the, you don't use the pi button this time though, because it specifically says 3.14. Okay, and then you go to uh, 24. And then the other one is going to be 30. Okay, press the equals button. Yes, and then you get uh, 54,200. And 59.2. 54259.2. I've lost uh, two marks. Can anybody tell me what happened to my two marks? That I'm getting 8 out of 10 for that question right now. Why? Higgins. What? Uh, correct nearest whole number. That's one reason why I'm losing marks. So I would have lost marks on two accounts. So Higgins right about the uh, the whole number. Yes. In what centimeters or meters squared? Exactly, uh, cubed. Okay, so centimeters cubed. Question three is all the same. There's only one difference. How would you do this question here with part three? The, yep. Half the diameter. Half the diameter. The radius for this question is three. So if I do one of them, you should be able to do the other two. Is that right? Moving on to question six, okay? Can anyone in the class tell me how would you go about doing question six? And underline, the formula is, uh, the formula is uh, volume equals, uh, sorry, the formula is volume equals pi r squared h, that's the answer to part one. What about the answer for part two? Write in all known values in the formula Write in all the known values in the form given the height is 14, okay? So what do we know? Do we know, the, do we know what the volume is? It's 350 pi. Yeah, you leave the, the centimeters out to the end. This here, pi. Radius, and we know the radius? Does it, does it give us the radius? So what are we gonna call it? You can call it R, you can call it X, you can call it what you want. Let's call it R. R squared, yeah? And what's the height? 14. Any suggestions from this point onwards? What do we do? Any suggestions? Okay. Is there anything that's the same on both sides? Okay. Pi. Pi. If you multiply one side of the equation and the other side of the equation by the same number, it means that these numbers can disappear okay now what's the goal of our question we're sort of starting part three now to be honest okay so part three is basically getting rid of the uh, the two lines okay so we're on part three now we're going to find out what the length of the radius is what letter do we need to get on its own can anybody tell me to answer this question what r r needs to be on its own what's the first step in getting r on its own Bring over to 14. Okay? You, you first get R squared on its own and then separate the squared. So what, what happens to the 14, lads? Sorry? Now it becomes a minus is a common answer and let me explain the difference. If I have R, R squared plus 14 equals 350, you're right. The 14 goes over the other side and becomes a minus. Why in this case does it not become a minus? It's r squared multiplied by 14. And when it crosses the equal sign, it becomes the opposite of multiplication. What is the opposite of multiplication? Yeah. Exactly. And that's why it goes underneath and not uh, on uh, not minus 14, okay? Like discussed there. Now that that's done, what's 350 divided by 14? 25. Okay, so that's 25, okay? And then we have r squared equals 25. And then what's r? Anybody know? Squared 25, which is 5. And once again, I'm losing marks. Why am I losing marks? Uh, okay, radius is a straight line. Centimeter, so. Okay.
grand guys so that's a uh, six part three done all right i'll just underline some keywords for you how right, you start off with that curved surface area of the cylinder where are you going to get that you're going to get in the formless table at the start of the exercise okay now you're on the second part the curved surface area of the cylinder is 110 a equals 110 the height of the cylinder is 5 find the length of the radius so what, what do you think your next step is yeah two two pi multiply by uh, r sorry r is there yeah multiply by five then what you multiply two by five uh, because they're all being multiplied by each other so i just decided to multiply the two numbers that can actually be multiplied by each other so i get 10 pi r yeah now you want to get R on its own. What's preventing R from being on its own? And is what's the relationship? Is it being multiplied? Is it being added to the R or what is it? Okay. And if I remove it, it has to be in. If it's multiplied on the right, what is on the left when I move it? Divide. So 110 divided by 10 pi. And then you can figure out what your rate, your answer is. So R ends up to be 110 divided by 10 pi. Do you know the answer? Uh, but the pi as well. <coughs> it's 10 pi, so it's 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 not 11 on its own. Uh, 3.5. See, 110 divided by 10 pi. Okay. Uh, correct to uh, one decimal place is 3.5. Okay. 3.5 centimeters okay guys any questions when water fills up a box okay so basically your 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 whole box is going to be full of water this water is then transferred into the cylinder so when the box is full the volume of water in the box equals the volume of the box so the volume of the box which is uh, just a box worth of water is now going to be equal to the cylinder of water okay now you don't have to get these questions completely right a lot of the time but if you make good effort you're going to pick up a lot of marks now volume of cylinder of water now what's the volume of a box formula volume of a box formula length by width by height picking up more marks volume of a cylinder anybody pi r squared h handy enough as well right now length by width by height okay it's going to be 88 by 42 by 6 pi is 22 over 7 radius squared anybody 21 squared and the height is h now can anybody tell me what 88 by 42 by 6 is? Nope, beat you to it. 22,176. Now, here's the tricky one. I can't put all of this into the calculator, can I? Why not? Huh? The H. So why don't I just put this much in? Why don't I put that much in? What do I get? So it's uh, what's it going to be? Twenty-two over seven, right? Anybody get it yet? Sixty-six. Okay, I'll take that. All right. Okay, so it's twenty-one squared, and let's see what comes out. What do you say? One thousand three hundred and eighty-six. Yeah. So. 1386 h what's your last step here guys last step huh uh not get rid of the h but get the h on its own 
So divide this number by 1386. Give me that uh, Because it's being multiplied. It's multiplied by. Uh, so once again, it was like this, Alan. Um, it was plus h or written like that. When you bring it over to your side, then you minus it. Because it's multiplying, you don't. Okay. So uh, we're going to do 22, 176. If you don't know to see the answer button, that saves the last answer. So height is 16. And once again, losing marks if it's not 16 centimeters. Okay. Just height not six. Like, uh, oh, sorry. Oh, the Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Oh no, it's the height of the box is six, and the height of the cylinder is uh, sixteen. Yeah, that that can be difficult. All right, guys. So.